Hi, my name is Isaiah Thompson. Um, this is my Veterans Day project for JROTC. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for giving me this opportunity to do this. Um, I'm really excited so, you know, you meet the veteran in my life that, you know, um, really got me to want to do JROTC and join the military and stuff. So, uh, here's here's that guy, my brother-in-law, sister's husband, you know. He's a, he's a great guy, so let's see what he has to say. My name is Kenneth Parker, I'm Isaiah's brother-in-law, and I will be the veteran he will be interviewing. Yeah. I was in the Army for four years, active, and then I was in the reserves for another four years, so from 2000 to 2008. Um, <clears throat> I joined the military because my wife, your sister, then was pregnant. I was worried about the fact that, you know, you, that you know I wouldn't be able to take care of my family uh, she's gonna have to stop working will I be able to make enough did I want to be a you know a slave to just only working and then um, and struggling I, I talked to a, a army recruiter and um, he asked me you know what things would I like um, he didn't even tell me what the military could do for me yet so I told him I said I would like the ability to work nine to five more or less um, for my wife to be able to stay home and raise the baby and for me to be able to go back to school. And he said, Oh, the army, we can do all that. I said, For real? I'm like I'm like, nah, I like how you know, he was like, you know, we could. He said, uh, you get married, you be able to reap all the benefits, um, and you'd be able to do just that and enjoy life. And he didn't lie. He left out some stuff, but you know, I got exactly what I asked for. I chose mechanics. And uh I was a mechanic in the military. Initially, I was what I call what they call a 63 Bravo, which is a light wheel vehicle mechanic. Um, when I got to my first duty station, and I got in there, and they wanted me to work, which means basically I work on any vehicle that was two and a half tons or lower. They wanted me to work on a five ton, so I was like, "Hey, you know, I'm a light wheel vehicle mechanic." He was like, "Hey, you know how to read a dash 10, right?" which is the manual for the book, right? You're a mechanic. I'm like, yeah. He said, oh, okay, then you're going to work on whatever I tell you to work on. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> all right, okay, okay, all right. <laughs> so, but it, it was it was cool. So I worked on everything from anything that had an engine to anything that had wheels. Um, so that's from your track vehicles, um, cars, trucks, generators. Um, and it paid off. It paid off. So, you know. Gentlemen, so you're not going to just do that specific job, you know, you'll, 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 uh, you'll do a lot more than that. Being stationed at, uh, the 9-11, uh, engineers, which then was called MDW, Military District of Washington Engineer Company, that responded to 9-11 to the Pentagon. Um, a lot of the Pentagon pictures that you see from 9-11 with the big flag, they're the ones who you help hang the flag. The guys that you see with, um with black jumpsuits and saying rescue those were those were the guys and um that was that was like just insane to be to be stationed there and that was on Fort Belvoir um yeah with a lot of Europe France um all over Germany Germany's beautiful I gained discipline cuz I was I was um I was, I don't say I was a little out there, I was, I was, I was reckless, um, <laughs> uh, I was definitely reckless, but nah, um, discipline, structure, independence, had a lot of leadership skills, um, and experience, man, life experience, um, I think, I'm pretty sure it's, it's gotten better, um, as far as the uniforms, I'm not with the, the new, what do you call it, ACUs, um, I, I, I'm not really with it. Because when I was in, we had the um, the BDUs, you know, this right here, that color. And um, that's because uh, as a soldier, you had to pay attention to detail. And you can tell who paid attention to detail by who took care of their uniform. So you can you can look at people and see. And it, you can they, they would stand out. You see a person, you know, everything is starched up, creased, every corner everything is lined up correctly just like how the class A's is um, 
how you have to pay attention to detail for you know inches and quarter inches of of moving your uh your stuff um so i i that kind of threw me off uh, it looks cool but i mean I understand there's other reasons but I, I like the other uniforms when you have to come home and you have the iron and you have to pay attention you have to shine your boots and you know you don't just throw everything on and just stroll in there um and uh because if you can pay attention to those small details you'll pay attention to uh, other things you know when you get out there on missions and stuff like that you, you know very attentive so if you don't miss the small things on a uniform you're not gonna miss the small things or the greater things on a mission so um i would definitely recommend the military um you gain so much life experience man when you decide to leave the military if you stay in the military it's it's a lot easier to get a job. Um, it's a lot easier to do what you want to do, period. No matter what your MOS, whatever your job description was, just because the type of person that the military creates, the job force wants, even in the career. Uh, discipline, on time, you're used to structure. These are all the things, that's why I, um, it's, it's, never been, it's never been tough for me to get any job that I've wanted. Um, being from a security officer to an intel analyst, working for the government, um, it's never been difficult. And um, the Army provides you with those tools that, um, that build your confidence. You know, like the Nike just do it, you just do it. You don't sit there and whine and, oh, I don't know if I can do, uh, uh. You, 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 you've, you've marched 12 miles in the dark, you've, you've shot thousands and thousands of rounds down range and hit targets you know 300 meters away um you've done so many things that the average person hasn't done your confidence level is a lot you know stronger and um and leadership skills you learn how to lead you follow first and you learn how to lead so i would definitely recommend it i will tell you this i was a pt stud i used to max out on a pt so you need to step up and JRTC with your PT. I don't know if I could match your first sergeant from what you keep telling me. You know what I mean? First on, I don't know. I, I keep hearing you a beast. But, yeah, um, you can go as hard as you want on Isaiah. You know what I mean? You just, I, I, don't, I don't have any complaints. So, um, yeah. Anything else? Well, guys, that was my brother in law. Um, Hope you enjoyed what he had to say. Hope you took it to heart. I you know, hope you uh, think about joining the military one day, because I know I am. Well, you know, just I guess, you know, think about it, you know. It's a really good uh, thing to do. Just think about what he said, and hopefully you make, uh, make, make your uh, life choice.